I think it looks more like a fork than a hand. Claws like Wolverine's will definitely be better than any watch. It looks more like some kind of champignon over a square or something like that. Jax, I think you drew too many fingers, don't you think so? To find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Um, guys, I'll come back later. Hello, everyone, friends. And today, we will again play a game in which we will need to complete the missing elements. I am absolutely sure that this tree is missing a star at its very top. No Christmas tree is complete without a star at the top. I don't think this game really likes the star that Jax drew. Maybe you should try to draw it not like a pentagram? But in general, he used the simplest way to draw a star. It's very strange that the game didn't like this method. I hope this star suits her. Now we save someone's Christmas. Well, let's help the next person. Oh my God. Buddy, what happened to your hand? Where did you lose it? Wait, do they really want us to draw him a new hand? Um, okay, let's try to do this. I think it looks more like a fork than a hand, but this guy seems to be okay with it. Well, the main thing is that he is happy, and now we will help the next person complete what he is missing. It seems to me that some mistake occurred during the construction of this house, and the builders made the foundation too large. Well, let's add a lift for this guy so he can get up and go into his house. I think the steps will be enough for him. He will be able to install the elevator himself while well, we help this guy, and now he's home. Now... Oh my god, what's going on here? This guy lost his sock. I think we should add a second sock to him because this guy looks pretty ridiculous wearing just one sock. I think we drew the outline slightly wrong. It may not be the right size. Ooh, I think this guy likes him too much. Look at what rack he's standing in. This stance is very unnatural for a man with such hairy legs. Well, now let's help this guy. Claws like Wolverine's will definitely be better than any watch. Just imagine how cool you can be if you have these claws. Looks like this guy didn't like those claws at all. Well, then let's add him a like so that he definitely likes everything. Dear friends, don't forget to like our videos too. Well, he didn't like this option. I think then we'll add a watch to him so he looks like all his other friends. By the way, friends, do you know who else among us is a fan of various wristwatches? Now the shadow of this character will appear on your screen and you pause this video and write in the comments who it is. I hope you answer correctly. Well, guys, have you written your comments? And the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one. And yes, you were right, it's Kinger. In fact, we are all tired of showing off our watches. He has a whole collection of them, and we can't explain to him that we really don't care at all. By the way, all this time the game does not count Jax for all his attempts to draw a clock. He's tried to do this many times already, but I think it's time for us to try to simply skip this level and stop torturing ourselves. Great! You and I have done this, and now we need to finish drawing the head of this skeleton. How did he even manage to lose her? Are you even sure that you are drawing a skeleton skull? It looks more like some kind of champignon over a square or something like that. Okay, the main thing is that the game counted this for us as a correct answer. And now let's warm up this Neanderthal. I think we should draw him a very bright sun. It should definitely warm him up. It seems to me that this is not quite what he needed. Hmm. Maybe then he should draw him a fire. It should definitely warm him up. The main thing is that this guy doesn't accidentally approach this fire and get burned. He's a Neanderthal, and he doesn't know how to use it. Great. Now this guy not only warmed up, but was also able to warm up his food. We helped him. And now let's help the next person. I really want to draw the sun on this guy so that his eyes burn out. You know you can't look at the sun through a telescope, right? It's a pity that the game didn't count this as the correct answer. Let's now erase this and draw a star for him so he can admire it. My friend, to be honest, this is the most disgusting star I've ever seen in my life. Try drawing it again a little smoother. I think you should do well. And I already like this star much more. Just look. Jax had to draw a star three times today, and the third time he got it almost perfect. Well, now we have to help this guy draw a triangle. This guy really can't handle this task himself? I think this is the easiest task in the world. Just draw a triangle. Perhaps this guy is slightly mentally retarded, but in any case, the main thing is that we were able to help him. Now we need to help this guy, and I can't understand what he needs. Let's draw him a monitor. It seems to me that this is not the most ideal monitor, but in any case, it should help him. No, unfortunately, this is not exactly what he needs. Maybe we can try to draw a better monitor? 
It seems to me that the problem here is absolutely not in the monitor. This guy has huge bags under his eyes and it is quite possible that he is very tired. I think he needs some kind of boost of energy. Maybe we can draw him a cup of coffee? This guy looks a lot like our editor. Right now, our editor is also working all night to create a video for you guys. Write him some nice words in the comments and be sure to like this video. It doesn't exactly look like a coffee mug. Let's try to draw a bigger mug and we definitely need to draw the steam that comes out of it from the top. This coffee should be hot. I'm definitely sure that's what we need to do. This is about just look how we were able to cheer up this guy. Well, this task was quite difficult, but we did it and... What? Why doesn't this guy have a leg? Guys, where do you keep losing all your limbs? Um... Jax, I think you drew too many fingers, don't you think so? Oh, I think this guy is quite happy with his new leg. This leg looks like it's mutated. Well, now let's add a keyboard to this guy so he can write nice comments to us. Guys, why don't you write us comments under the video? Don't you have a keyboard? If this solved the problem, I would draw a keyboard for each of our subscribers. Oh, I think this guy is missing an emergency evacuation button. Well, okay. Let's not argue with this, and let's just draw a button to save this guy. Great. He was able to fly away by parachute. I hope that the next task will be more difficult than the previous one. Oh, look! This big guy doesn't have enough food on his plate. Well, I think he will be very happy if we draw a burger for him. I think this burger is definitely missing something. There should be at least two buns. Great. Now this guy will be happy. I think this guy has a hearing problem. Let's try to finish drawing him a new ear. I think the game will ask you to finish drawing him a pretty giant ear. Well, but now he will hear his friend well. Is this the foot of Santa Claus? It seems to me that walking in the snow without shoes is not the best idea. Great. Now his feet will definitely not freeze. Ow! Just look! This astronaut went into space without a spacesuit. We need to quickly finish drawing his spacesuit so that he doesn't suffocate. Let's draw a circle around his head. Great job, guys. The astronaut is saved, and now we move on to the next level. This guy feels extremely insecure. It says that you need to finish drawing his crown. Well, maybe we can finish drawing a halo for him. I don't think this is the best idea, but it's worth a try. Let's add another glow effect around it. Well, I don't think he looks happy. I think we need to erase everything we drew and try to draw something else. Let's try to draw glasses for him. Maybe he just doesn't see well. Are you guys serious? It says there to draw him a crown. What in the word crown is not clear to you? Okay, let's just draw him a crown and move on to the next level. This crown has too many spikes. Do you think he will like her? He seemed to really like her. This is cool. Let's now help the next person. We need to help him get the ball into the basket. Guys, there is a basketball fan among us too. Now the shadow of this character will appear on the screen and you try to guess who it is. Write your answers in the comments. I hope you answered correctly, and the correct answer will appear on the screen in 3, 2, 1, and yes, you guessed it right again, it's Jax! And I think this ball is quite crooked, but it seems that this does not bother him and he is happy even with this ball. This woman had a fire, I think we need to help her eliminate it! I don't think this is a good idea, the fire still continues to burn, we need water! I think we need to come up with something that will help us put out the fire in her apartment! Exactly, we need a fireman! Try to draw him as similar to a fireman as possible. We need to save this girl from the burning house. He looks quite a lot like a fireman. Well, I hope that he will be able to put out this fire and we will save this girl. Let's just draw a ladder for her to go down and escape from the fire. I think this is the best idea out of all the ones proposed. Let's just do it and let her come down. Great! The staircase is ready, the girl is saved, and we are moving to the next level. Here we need to help the guy with his crazy twitching eye. Maybe we can just give him an eye patch? Kind of like pirates, you know? Yes, it also seems to me that his eye should be hidden. He twitches madly and scares everyone who looks at him. It's definitely very creepy. It seems to me that this is not exactly what needs to be done. Maybe we should finish drawing the frame of his glasses. This may help his eye stop twitching. Wow, that really helped. Only now his nostril began to twitch. It's quite strange, but the main thing is that now this guy is happy. Are you really drawing this guy a bra? I don't think this is quite what he needs. There is a logic to this. Maybe Jax is actually drawing him a swimsuit? So this guy will be fully dressed. The game tells you that this guy needs to draw shorts. Well, okay, let's do this. Hope this helps this guy get dressed. Great, now this guy has shorts. Wait, where is him? Um, okay, never mind. Now this guy is dressed and we move on to the next level. Oh my god, this guy's feet really stink. We urgently need to put socks on him. You're so careful around his leg, Jax. 
Are you afraid that you won't be able to draw socks in his size? The socks seem to fit his foot perfectly. Well, now let's help this guy dig up the treasure. He definitely needs a shovel for this. Let's draw a shovel for him so that this guy can become rich and buy himself a new jacket that will be cooler than the one he is wearing now. I didn't like his strange green jacket either. She looks like he's a leprechaun. Okay, now we need to add a new wheel to this poor car. I'm so sorry about the machine. She's crying because she doesn't have a wheel. Don't worry, machine. We drew you a new wheel and now you can go wherever you want. And this teapot is angry because he pours all the tea into the plate. Hey, buddy, I think you're missing a cup here. Great, this is the perfect mug for tea and now this teapot is happy. I'm glad we were able to help him. Now we need to help this crying plate. I think she doesn't have enough food. Let's draw a piece of delicious chicken on it. I think this should calm down this crying plate a little. Our pencil draws in gray. I think the gray chicken won't look too appetizing. Perhaps we are doing something wrong? Yes, it looks like this plate was not happy. Maybe we should draw a fork next to it or something like that? Yes, she missed a fork nearby. Well, this is quite logical. Who even eats with just a knife? Here you need to complete the missing geometric figure. I think a triangle would be the right solution. And now we need to help this girl hide from the rain. How about drawing an umbrella to prevent these drops from falling on her? Purple umbrella? It looks quite glamorous, but quite strange. I hope she will be happy with this umbrella. Now this lady won't get wet. It's great that we were able to do this, and she looks pretty happy now. Oh no, look, it's a crying monkey. We need to help her. Perhaps she wants to eat. Let's draw her a banana. It doesn't exactly taste like a banana, but I think she's happy about it. Well, I'm very glad that we were able to make this monkey happy. This guy is crying among the mustachioed men. Buddy, don't worry. We will give you a gorgeous hairstyle, and you will become cooler than these bald guys. It looks like he's still not happy. Well, then we'll give you a mustache, but it will be cooler than these guys. Now you look like, um, Charlie Chaplin. He didn't like that mustache either. Okay, maybe this is an elegant option then? But he really liked this mustache, great! It seems to me that this is not the ring she wanted at all. So let's remove part of his grid. I think we did it in vain. Turns out this guy really loves ballet. This is a very strange hobby for such a large man like him. Oh my god. What is this grandpa doing? I don't even want to know what he's hiding behind those bushes. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play the game Remove One Part Again. I think it's a little hard for this guy to pull the cart. Let's see what's under that green cloth. Oh, there's some very chubby guy eating burgers. It seems to me that we need to carefully remove this tissue and look at it. Hey guy, what are you even forgetting here? I think this guy's in big trouble. Now let's move on to the next task. Oh, here a guy wants to propose to his girlfriend. Let's look at the ring he will offer her. It seems to me that this is not the ring she wanted at all. But now she will definitely cry. But this time, not because of happiness. I definitely think this guy doesn't need a cone around his neck. Let's delete it. How did he even think about putting this cone on his neck? After all, it is needed so that the animal does not scratch itself. Oh, Lord! Get that finger out of your nose! Why are you poking around in it? Oh, now we need to help this Theodore so he doesn't get run over by the bull. I think we can just remove the bull from here. Oh no, I think we did something wrong. Well, let's try to remove the tissue. Oh look, what's underneath it? What? Where did this guy get my panties? Oh, I think I said something unnecessary. Well, let's move on to the next level. Hey buddy, now is not the time to sit and eat. Oh, it seems to me that your plate is not what it should be. Does this guy actually eat soup straight from the shield? I can't even imagine under what circumstances this happened, but I don't think it matters. Let's move on to the next task. I think this builder is a little tired of his work. Let's help him have some fun. Maybe we can put his instrument away? He looks pretty happy now. I think he is very glad that he now has such a thing. And now we need to help this bus get into this rather narrow tunnel. Second floor. This bus definitely has an extra one. There are just no people there. This means we can remove it. Now this bus can go through this tunnel on this road. It's cool that we were able to help these people get through this tunnel. Now let's find the monster on this plate. Monster? What do you mean? Oh, I think I get it. Here you just need to remove the bacon and it will turn out to be a funny one-eyed cute monster. Yes, this monster really turned out to be quite funny. I think this girl's eyes are too big. Oh no, I think she looked much better with big eyes. This girl really has vision problems since her lenses make her eyes look so big. Well, here I think we need to understand which of these two guys is a real werewolf. Let's check this girl out first. She has a t-shirt with dog paw prints on it. I think this definitely means something, and we can't check what's under this guy's shirt. 
You need to remove the clouds so that the moon shows who the real werewolf is. It's great that we helped this guy. Now let's help the zombie. I think we need to make the balls fly into the air. But for some reason, when we try to remove the threads, the balls still remain in place. Maybe we need to try to separate his hand so that the balls fly up with it? Yes, this helped us. Great. Let's move on to the next task. That guy's sledgehammer looks pretty menacing. Let's try to fix it somehow. Oh, he wants to take a selfie. I think this will be the very first selfie on our planet. This fish is hiding something from us. Let's see what's in the treasure chest. Oh, there are a lot of gold coins, but that's not what we're looking for. Maybe there is something interesting behind this coral. Oh, look, that's a very cute little crab sitting there, but he doesn't interest us either. Oh, just look, behind these algae, there is a hook. This fish turned into a ball fish when it saw him. Well, now let's move on to the next task. And here we need to help this red bearded guy eat honey. It seems to me that it would be good to start by removing all these aggressive bees. But unfortunately, the game does not allow us to do this. So let's remove part of his grid. I think we did it in vain. Now this guy has been stung by bees. Well, sorry, buddy. But now we have to help this witch find out what's in the box. Someone prepared a prank for her to make her scared. A creepy clown jumped out of this box. Well, this is a very good joke. Now we need to help our boyfriend deliver breakfast in bed. It seems to me that this girl is not very happy that he eats this food himself. Well, it's quite possible that she was waiting for a surprise all this time. Let's take the cap off this guy. Oh, I don't think he really wants to show off his bald head. So maybe he's hiding something under his clothes? I think it definitely doesn't look like a lumberjack's outfit. Turns out this guy really loves ballet. This is a very strange hobby for such a large man like him, and now we need to understand what is hidden here under the foam. There must be a really cool Leo tattoo there. Well, let's see what's really hidden here. Oh, I think this guy won't be very happy with this master's work. Yes, what happened is completely different from what is shown in the picture. Well, let's now move on to the next task. Oh my god, what is this grandpa doing? I don't even want to know what he's hiding behind those bushes. But in order to pass the level, we need to look at this. It turns out this grandpa was just watering the tree. There is nothing wrong. I already had time to get scared and think that he was really standing and peeing. Oh no, this biker accidentally broke his bike by crashing into this tree stump. Wait, what? Does this goat have a saddle on his back? I don't think it's the best replacement for a bike, but this guy and the goat look happy. And this is the main thing. I am very glad that we were able to help them. And now we need to find the right path to the treasure. This is a very strange map. I don't understand what actually needs to be removed here so that we can build a normal path. This is starting to annoy me a little. I also don't understand what actually needs to be removed here. All that is removed here is the flag over the island and the dotted line. Maybe there is a need to remove the dotted line in some specific place? I think we need to try to remove the line starting from the small island and ending with the ship so that our route goes through the top of the island. Well, let's try to do just that. Great, Ragatha, well done! You told us what we needed to do and it turned out to be right. Now we need to free all the teeth. I think we need to remove the braces. Oh, now they won't grow properly. This is very bad. I think he should leave some nice mustache on his face. Just look at this handsome guy. Why doesn't he go to bed? Oh, I think we did something wrong. This situation is really extremely unpleasant. What's up with her hair? Was it a wig? Wow, she has quite a trendy haircut. Hello everyone, friends. And today, we will need to remove unnecessary parts from the image. I think he should leave some nice mustache on his face. Yes, this is the best option. The only thing you need to do is remove the sideburns. Just look at this handsome guy. Wait, where did that mustache go? I don't like him bald at all. Now we need to remove some of this. Oh, I think we need to remove this cloud. She definitely prevents this flower from growing. When the sun appears, it will melt this ice and the flower will receive its water. Great, we made it. Do we really need to help this robber find the money now? Oh, here comes the cop. I think it would be better if he goes to jail. It looks like we really need to help this guy after all. Okay, let's find the money. Look, they're at that door. It's bad that we had to help a criminal. Well, let's clean this lamp now. Maybe a genie will emerge from it and fulfill our wishes? We need to do this as carefully as possible so as not to accidentally break it. Let's start with the handle and then wash the rest. And now she looks very cool. Look, it's Jin. It looks like he doesn't want to fulfill our wishes. Well, let's see what this guy actually has under his hat. Wow, 
He doesn't look like a guardsman at all. It's strange that he even ended up in the Royal Guard. Well, it's his business and we move on. I don't think her makeup suits her. But it looks like we can't fix it. Well, let's try to remove this cake. There was actually a burger underneath that pie. Do you know who else among us just loves burgers? Now the shadow of this character will appear on your screen. Pause this video and write in the comments who is really hiding under this shadow. I hope you have already written a comment and the correct answer will appear on the screen in three, two, one, and you were right. This is Kinger. Well, dear friends, I hope this was quite easy for you and now we move on. I think these oranges are in danger. It's better to get out of here as soon as possible. It seems to me that this thing is much more dangerous for them than a UFO. And now, we need to help this guy make his car even better in order to please this beauty. Well, let's wash it completely. Maybe it will help somehow. It's amazing that it helped this car. It seems to me that only scrap metal would help her. Well, now this happy guy will take this girl on a date. And we are moving on. This pig really wants to sleep. Why doesn't he go to bed? Maybe he should wash his face. No, it doesn't help. Maybe we should make a bed for him. Oh, I think we did something wrong. It seems to me that these pigs are in for a long, serious conversation. This situation is really extremely unpleasant. Well, let's not embarrass them and move on. And now we need to help the biker who is riding behind the fence. Maybe we need to trim it. No, looks like we need to remove the fence. Wait, what? Why isn't there a motorcycle under it? Is this a biker who doesn't have a bike? But what kind of steering wheel is he holding then? Maybe the truth is hiding behind the rest of the fence? Yes, just look. It's a lawnmower. He's not really a biker. Apparently, this guy wants to seem cooler, but in reality, he is an ordinary lawnmower. Now we need to help this guy get rid of the snake that wants to bite his leg. It seems to me that the problem here is a little different. We need to get this stinky sock out of here. Now this snake is happy because its feet smell like flowers. Well, it's great that we were able to help this snake. And now we move on to the next task. This fox wants to steal the chicken from there. This fox needs to go. Looks like we need to do something different. Oh, look, it's a dog inside this chicken coop. This grandma needs help to see better. I think I need to wipe down this weird board. Well, no, it didn't help. Maybe she needs help with something else. Maybe she needs... Oh, wait, what's up with her hair? Was it a wig? Wow, she has quite a trendy haircut, don't you think so? I actually don't know how this can help her. I think we should try cleaning her glasses. Well, that helped. Cool. Now Granny sees what is drawn on this strange board. Now we need to help this crying zucchini get surgery. It seems to me that for the operation, we won't need this thing and these strange scissors. Let's better remove this scalpel. I really don't want this zucchini to be cut. Well, looks like that didn't help us either. Let's try to do the operation ourselves. Just look. There's a small eggplant inside. Now this eggplant will become a happy mother. And we move on. We need to help this princess see what is really reflected in the mirror. I think we need to wipe this rag off this mirror. Oh, I think this is not at all what she would like to see. I can't say that we were able to help her. But nevertheless, now we are moving on. And now we need to adjust the focus on this camera. I think it's logical enough if we have to press some buttons, but I think we just need to wipe the screen because it was dirty. The problem here was not focusing at all. Now this guy will take a beautiful photo, and we need it now. Wait, what is Godzilla doing here? I don't think it's evil at all. Maybe we should see what's really hiding in the shadows. Just look, she has Christmas trees on her back. I thought that she was not evil at all. She just wants to bring Christmas trees for these people to celebrate. It's cool that we were able to help this Godzilla do a good deed. Oh my god, does this guy have a stone PlayStation 5? We need to help him turn it on somehow. I think we should start with a gamepad. You definitely can't turn on anything with this gamepad. Oh cool, now this console works. We were able to help this guy. We need to help this girl fulfill her dream so that she can get to France. I think there's something wrong with this window. Yes, just look. Now she's actually in France. This girl! Still uses wired headphones? Come on, it's already 2024. Let's remove these wires completely. That's better. Now these headphones will finally not be constantly tangled in your pocket. Oh look, there's something wrong with this astronaut. This alien wanted to impersonate an astronaut, but he smiles so sweetly. It seems to me that this alien is not evil at all. Is grandma playing video games? I think I need to take the gamepad out of her hands. She must be knitting or something. 
Let's better help her play games. Maybe something happened to her image on TV. Well, let's try to fix it. Just look, this granny plays a game where you have to knit. Wow. Knitting simulator? Sounds pretty weird, but she seems to like it. Well, now let's help this grandpa. He has the same problem as the grandmother from the last task. I think his TV is actually hidden behind the curtain. Let's try to remove this curtain and check if he's really there. Yes, here he is. Great, we helped this grandpa. Well, let's now move on to the next task. Just look at this rainbow turd and his hairy butt. When he poops, this guy's butt shakes so funny, it's like he's straining really hard to do it. What? The fish that ate the fish that ate the fish? Lord, do you see what vile things fly out of them? This girl wants to increase her size. I think we did it wrong, but it is not important. The main thing yeah. is that she is happy. Hello everyone, friends. And no matter how happy I am about this, today we are playing a game in which you need to pull out poop. Looks like this guy is stuck in the desert and needs moisture. What let's help him? It's good that this game starts with some kind of adequate task. I'm tired of squeezing pimples and taking out poop every time. Don't be such a boring regatta. This game is pretty fun. In addition to moments with pimples and poop, there are also good tasks like what we are doing now. We helped this guy, and now he will definitely survive. This is great news. I'm very happy about this. Well, now, let's move on to another task. We need to help the pirate there open the treasure. I didn't think we'd have to dig it up. Well, let's try to do this as soon as possible. So far, I don't see any treasure among this dirt. And here is the chest. Well, now we need to figure out how we can open it. I still can't understand what we need to do. Why do we need this stone? Maybe we need to fill this hole? Great! Yes, this is what needed to be done. Okay, now this pirate has hidden the treasure and he will definitely not tell anyone where it is. And we move on to the next task. What? The fish that ate the fish that ate the fish? I understand we need to get the smallest fish of them all. I think it will be quite difficult, but let's try to do it. Oh, we hooked a fish! This hook doesn't help us in any way, so let's just get this fish ourselves. And now we need to get a little fish. Great! We got through it! Well, now all the fish are free, but they are still hungry. Why are they angry at that big brown fish? I can't understand this. Now let's do the next task. It really was quite strange. Oh, just look. This girl wants to increase her size. Um, I won't say that she wants to increase her size so as not to traumatize the psyche of our little subscribers. I still can't understand that she wants to make herself bigger. It's like it's trying to put contact lenses in its eyes. But why then were we pointed to her t-shirt? Something is clearly not right here. I think we did it wrong, but it is not important. The main thing yeah. is that she is happy. Our task is completed and we can finally move on to the next task. This guy wants to beat up the kangaroo? But why does he want to do this? Wait, points us to her bag? What? Should we take her baby out of her pouch and give it to this guy? This task is too cruel. I would never do this in my life. This guy chose the most cruel way to influence his opponent. It seems to me that it is inhumane to put pressure on the enemy with the help of his children. He shouldn't have done that. This is too cruel. I hope that someday the kangaroo will take revenge on him and steal his child from him in the same way. Well, let's leave these two alone and move on to the next task in this game. I think this cow has something stuck in her butt and we need to help get it out. Oh, I think she ate too many leaves that were not digested in her stomach, and now we need to clean out her intestines so that she feels good. It's very strange that the cow's stomach couldn't digest the grass. This is their main diet. Well, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that we helped her. Just look how happy she is. I would like everyone we helped to be as happy as she is. Oh, no. Just don't say that now we have to squeeze pimples. Yes, this is exactly this task. Well, let's help this girl make her skin beautiful. In fact, pimples should not be squeezed. They should disappear from your skin naturally. When people squeeze pimples, they can cause an infection or damage the skin so that it never recovers. We only have one nasty pimple left to squeeze. Lord, do you see what vile things fly out of them? Well, the main thing is that we help this girl. And I hope that we won't see any more tasks with acne today. I can't believe you actually said that. Usually you really liked all the tasks with all sorts of nasty things. This crazy guy was going to eat five hot chili peppers at once. I think his stomach will turn into boiling lava. I think it's hotter than KFC wings. He has already eaten four peppers, and not a single muscle on his face has moved. This guy's really flint. He seems to really like the spiciness of this dish and is very happy with what he ate. He is so happy because he still has no idea what awaits him when all this food is digested. But it seems to me that these are the consequences of those same peppers. Well, Pomni, these are your favorite tasks. 
Just look at this rainbow turd and his hairy butt. This looks very funny. When he poops, this guy's butt shakes so funny, it's like he's straining really hard to do it. Oh my god. I really hope that someday we will stop playing these disgusting games and we'll only play something really interesting and fun. Now we need to get the leeches out of this guy's hand. Is it just me? Or have the nasty task started again? Those leeches took a lot of this guy's blood. I hope he doesn't have any health problems after this. It seems to me that these bites may have consequences. In fact, in some countries, leeches are used to suck bad blood out of the body because they prefer to drink it. So I think you shouldn't worry about this guy's health. He was simply given health procedures. But mosquitoes, on the contrary, can be breeding grounds for infection because they can drink infected blood before and then bite you and transfer this infection to you. Now we need to help this girl. She definitely has some problems while she's in the shower. Oh, this is another task in which we do some strange things. What did we do? I cannot understand. Someday we will find out what it really was. For now, let's just move on to the next task. Now we need to help this girl fix her car. I can't figure out what this part actually is, but it's definitely some kind of mechanical thing that girls don't understand. Well, the main thing is to make this car move so that this girl can finally go about her business. Oh no, this guy got his heart broken. We need to help him deal with his heartache. Let's quickly help him get rid of unnecessary memories so that he can concentrate on the one and only love of his life. He was in love with two other girls at once besides the one who was still in his heart. It's really quite strange. It seems to me that this guy has problems not with his heart but with his head. But now he has the one and only one. Look, the next guy wants to propose to his girlfriend. We need to help him place the ring on her finger. This guy has a really funny hairstyle. I hope this doesn't influence her decision. So let's choose which finger we will place this ring on. I actually don't really remember which finger this ring is supposed to be on. Do you really not see the lines around your finger where you need to put this ring? Guys, don't be so stupid. You have already tried all the fingers except the one you need. Thanks for the tip. I didn't notice this line at all. Well, now they are happy. Husband and wife. Just look at this guy eating candy right out of the wrapper. Does he love sweets that much? One day, my cat ate a sausage straight with the wrapper, and then she ran around with the cellophane wrapper sticking out of her butt. And my cat was once playing with a balloon that had a ribbon attached to it. After he burst the balloon, he started chewing the tape, swallowed it, and then it stuck out of his butt. I absolutely don't understand why you are telling these stories now. Okay, doesn't matter. The main thing is that we helped this strange guy. Let's move on to the next task. What awaits us next? What awaits us next is the suffering of this game. And if you're talking about the level, then some idiot swallowed the fish skeleton again. How can this even be done? He was lucky that this skeleton came out so easily, and it did not cling to the walls of his esophagus. Well, great. We helped this guy, and let's move on to the next task. I wonder what will happen there. Looks like this guy has some stomach problems. Let's take a closer look. Oh no, he was hit by a bullet. You need to get it out with these tweezers. God, how disgusting this is. Either the tweezers are too small, or the bullet is too big. It fits into the hole in his skin too easily. Well, the main thing is that we helped this guy, and now we can move on to the next level. I hope he will be healthy now. What's going on here? Did she vacuum the cat directly into the vacuum cleaner, and now we need to get him out of there? It seems to me that there are some problems with the size here too. Either this cat is too small, or she has a giant vacuum cleaner. Yes, this cat really looks tiny compared to this vacuum cleaner. Well, it's quite difficult to get it out of there. He keeps getting stuck inside that pipe. You need to be as careful as possible and not harm him. Great! We're almost there! Just a little left! We're almost out of this vacuum cleaner! Great! Now his owner will be happy and the cat will return to her. Well, let's now move on to the next task! Oh no! This bear is stuck in a trap! He is crying! I'm so sorry for this bear. We urgently need to help him. Well, I hope we can help this bear and he will roam joyfully through his forest again. Let's open this trap and free his leg as soon as possible. This trap is so gigantic. No wonder this bear was crying because he was stuck in it. He really looks like he can break even a bear's bones. This damn trap doesn't want to come off. Great, we got it done. Now the bear will be happy. But of course, he needs a little time to recover.
Oh no, they put him in a cast and now he won't be able to walk for some time. What now? Let's help this guy. Looks like he wants a hairstyle like his favorite football player. This guy has very long hair, and he wants a short haircut. Well, let's help him with this. I'm so sorry to shave off his long hair. Well, look, I think we can leave him with this hairstyle, and he will look like my grandfather. It seems to me that he will very much regret in the future the choice of his hairstyle, but since he asked, we will definitely do it. Okay, we made this guy completely bald. Let's see what happens now. It seems to me that he is very happy with his new hairstyle, but it doesn't suit him very well. Okay, let's move on to the next level. Oh no, this guy's toilet is clogged and now we need to help him clean it out. I wonder what could be stuck in this toilet that prevents the water from leaving. That was a pretty stupid question. Of course there was poop stuck in there. I think they need to be moved a little in the other direction. No one cleans the poop out of the toilet. I can't believe we do this every time. We really go into this game, squeeze out pimples, push poop somewhere, and are you all really happy with it? I can't say that I'm happy, but our viewers really like this game, and that's why we have to film it. Oh my god, just look. This poop is stuck in the toilet. Looks like there's too much water in there. It doesn't go through this pipe. I remember that at the very beginning of the level, a plunger was shown. Maybe this guy should have given it to us so we could unclog this toilet. This turd just doesn't want to go down through that water. We really need some kind of tool to push it through. She just doesn't want to go through this water, and unfortunately the water can't be pushed through. Maybe he needs to press the drain button because we can't do it. Oh my god, it's really very difficult. Maybe we should skip this level or try to go through it again. This really seems impossible to me. We won't skip this level because it's for weaklings. Let's just try to pull it straight down with all our might and maybe we'll get something done. It didn't go all the way, but the game counted us a victory. Great. I think this guy will still be able to wash it off completely. Now let's move on to the next task. Looks like this guy dropped his mouse container. Now he needs to put them all back together. It's strange that these mice don't move or run away from us. It's like they just froze. It's good that they don't run away, because then this task would become almost impossible for us. And now we can just calmly collect all these mice in a container, and we won't worry about them jumping out or running away. All that remains is to place this mouse and another one in the container. Let's get this over with as quickly as possible and move on to the next task. I really want to see what awaits us next. Judging by the fact that these mice do not move at all, it seems to me that they are not very alive. Yes. It seems that since they smell disgusting, it means they really don't live anymore. Well, let's not think about it, but let's help this kid with his problem. I think he has a fever. He is crying. We need to help him get better. Okay, we need to put this pill directly into his mouth and help him drink it down. Why is she so bouncy? Well, there's a tablet inside, and now let's fill it with water. Oh my god! Is this supposed to be pressure from a fire hydrant? This is not the end of this task! Now we need to help these microbes defeat the virus inside it. Well, let's put these microbes inside so that the baby is healthy and happy. Well, there's one more microbe left and great. He's inside this guy's body. Now he sleeps peacefully and doesn't cry. Nothing bothers him. Okay, let's move on to the next task. I hope we don't have to help them have a baby this time. Great. This time we need to help Cupid get straight into this girl's heart. Well, this building was pretty easy and now let's quickly move on to the next one. I'm very interested in what awaits us next. Look, it's the platypus from the cartoon. I remember watching this cartoon when I was a child. Well, we need to help him get into the secret tunnel through the trash can. Okay, let's do this. It seems to me that he is a little unable to fit into this tunnel. I try to pull him down with all my strength, but he absolutely does not want to climb there. Maybe it needs to be pushed there somehow using this lid. I think there is some kind of error going on. We're really trying to shove it right into that trash can. We can't do anything! I can't understand what we're doing wrong! Maybe we can skip this level after all. No guys, we definitely don't need to skip this level. We definitely have to come up with something that will help us pass this level. Maybe let's try closing this trash can with a lid. Maybe he just doesn't want to climb into this bucket because he's afraid that someone will notice him. Well that sounds pretty logical. Great! It really helped us pass this level. Well now, we need to get him to the elevator. Great! We passed this level. This was the most difficult level of all today. In the last level for today, we need to help the fish get out of this cat. I hope we end up on the wrong side from where all the food usually comes out. 
Oh my god! This method of extracting fish from a cat seems very sadistic to me. We need to fill this cat with water so that the fish can swim up from it. This is very cruel. Come on, fish! Swim out of it! Great! Look, she makes her way straight up through the water from his stomach. Great! We help this fish! Great! Let's now move on to the next task. I really hope that in the near future we will go through all these games completely, and we simply won't be left with anything to play, and we'll go on playing Minecraft or Roblox. I thought we would now need to help the chicken lay eggs as it was in previous games, but now we just help her poop. As far as I know chickens, the digestion process is a little different, but we are here in any case to help them, so we coped with this task. Just look! This guy is going to propose to this girl! Great! Let's help him put the ring on her finger! But why is she already wearing some other ring on this hand? It is very strange. Let's leave this ring on the other finger. I don't think she wants to just throw it away. She has some strange fingers. The ring gets stuck among them. Okay, well, we managed to put it on, and now let's put on the most important ring. Just look how happy they are. I hope they have a further good family life ahead. Well, let's move on to the next task. This guy objectively somehow angered these bees, and they got right in his face. Well, okay, let's get those bees out of his face. But I hope that he will no longer disturb the hives. Great! We did it! Just look! They covered his entire face except his eyes. Well, now he will know for sure that he shouldn't play with bees. Well, let's see what awaits us next. This girl has some problems in her head. Oh my god, she has lice. Well, let's help her and get them out of her head. They cling to her skin so tightly that when we take them out, she bleeds from her head. These insects are so annoying. Well, the last one remains, and now we need to move it to this container. Great, we did it. Just look how happy this girl is now. Yes, she looks very happy. Now let's finally move on to the next task. I really hope there won't be anything nasty there. Oh no! This guy was drowning and now his lungs are filled with water! We urgently need to help him! Someone give him CPR! I think we can manage without it. We just need to press down on his chest with both hands to get the water out. I think this should work. Great! This guy is saved and will live! How good it is that we were nearby at this moment. Well, now let's help these young people kiss each other. Are they so stupid that they need help kissing? I don't understand anything. What is happening in this picture? Is this some kind of big pink maze for this white creature, or what is it even? I think their kiss went a little wrong! I don't even understand what is shown here. How does this relate to kissing? Guys, it seems to me that you are still too young to understand what is happening here! Well, someday I'll tell you. But for now, just try to complete this level to the end. Well, great, we did it! And now they will have a child! I really don't think they're very happy about it. What? Child? What does this have to do with the child, anyway? It was just a pink, incomprehensible labyrinth. Well, apparently I don't know how it all works. Okay, let's just get this love thing out of the way, and now we need to clean this guy's mouth. Oh my god, I think he hasn't brushed his teeth since he was born. He has so much incomprehensible nonsense stuck between his teeth. Didn't this really cause him discomfort and he decided to brush his teeth only when he wanted to talk to the girl? Is it really just the smell that bothers him? His teeth are so yellow, I didn't think they could be such a nasty color. Have you even seen what color my teeth are? This is taking into account the fact that I don't even have lips. Well, now this red-haired guy can communicate with this girl and not worry about the bad smell coming from his mouth. Okay, now let's help this crow. This task is very incomprehensible. Do we need to put stones in this bag so that the crow can drink water? Why can't she just turn this bag over? I do not understand anything. Maybe because the crow has no hands and will have to turn this bag over with its beak? And if she turns it over with her beak, she will not be able to drink with the same beak. Okay, that sounds pretty logical. Well, this crow is pretty smart since she decided to use this method to get to the water. Okay now, let's help this woman put an IV on this old man. This woman really looks like she can't do it. But why does she work here? Who wears red high heels to work as a medic anyway? This is very inconvenient. And if she suddenly needs to run somewhere quickly, what will she do? Yes, this is really illogical. It seems to me that it is much more convenient to go to work as a medic in some crocs. It seems to me that now is exactly the situation where she will have to run quickly. Well, I hope that now this woman will be fired and she will no longer treat anyone. Okay, let's move on to the next task and now we need to help this snail. Oh my god, some rainbow worms have settled in his eyes! This is very disgusting! How did he even see anything with those worms in his eyes? I hope that when we help him this situation will not happen again in his life. 
The last worm remains and... Great, we got it done. Just look how cute this snail is winking at us. Well, let's now move on to the next task and see what we need to do there. This guy is very cold and he is shaking very much. Looks like his nose is stuffy. Well, as I understand it, we need to clear his airways. I wouldn't want to pick his nose. Maybe we can shove this whole can right up his nose? Okay, this won't help us at all. Well, let's just get those boogers out of his nose now. I wonder what kind of air he breathed that his nose boogers became rainbow colored. I'd like to blow my nose with rainbow boogers too. It seems to me that I have never in my life heard a more idiotic desire than yours. Well, okay, let's help this guy. I think his belly button is very inflamed. Oh my god, maggots have settled in his navel. God, this is so disgusting. How did they even get there? I thought there wouldn't be such nasty tasks in this game. Well, okay, let's just help him and get all these maggots out of his navel so they don't bother him. Wait, what? The task is over? But we haven't gotten all the maggots yet. Will he really be fine anyway? This guy is very nasty. It looks like everything that's left there will come out of him, along with this pus that's gushing out of his belly button. Well, okay, it's his business. Let's move on to the next task. Did this guy actually run to the bathroom with a burger in his mouth? Is he gonna eat while sitting on the toilet? I think only idiots do that. This is very disgusting. It seems to me that he has already eaten one of this burgers and we will help him free his stomach from it right now. Well, this guy has very fast digestion. Apparently, this guy is very huge since he was able to eat a burger and keep it completely intact. He didn't even chew it like the rest of the food. Well, maybe that's why he has a stomach problem. Well, we helped this guy and now he feels relieved. Great, let's move on to the next task. Oh no, this snake wants to steal eggs from the nest. We need to prevent this urgently. Okay, they offer us to hide the eggs inside a tree. I hope these eggs don't break while we're hiding them. This wood looks too soft, basically like eggs. Are they made of jelly? Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. The main thing now is to hide the eggs so that the snake cannot steal them. Great! One egg is already inside. Now we need to hide the second one. It's good that there is no timer in this, because if there was one, we would be in a very big hurry, and perhaps it would interfere with us. It's so hard to get through there. Why is this wood soft anyway? Maybe it got wet during the rain? But it seems to me that even if it were like that, it wouldn't get so wet. Well, the second egg is in place. Only one left. She also has quite a problem climbing. Damn, why did they even make this task so difficult? It would be possible to come up with some wider tunnel for these eggs. In general, there are very rarely tunnels like these in a tree. Great! We finally did it! I thought it would take forever. Just look at this snake! She climbed this tree for so long to steal the eggs, and now they are gone. Great! Now she will have to look for food elsewhere. Well, now we need to free this guy's butt from the teeth of this dog. This dog has some very crooked teeth and eyes looking in different directions. I think this is a sign of rabies. This guy needs to get checked out by a doctor ASAP. Just look how swollen this girl's cheek is. She has problems with her tooth. Well, let's help get this bad tooth out of her mouth. Great, we administered the painkiller and now we just take out this tooth. Great, the girl is now healthy and can enjoy life. Oh no, God, they tore the hangnail right down to my hand. Oh well, look, she's going to poop right in the pool. I think he's very happy about what happened. Um, no wait, what's happening? Do we need to suck the blood out of the mosquito? Please like, if you have ever stepped on Lego- It seems to me that only mentally ill people and a bubble can enjoy this game. Wait, Kingler, did you just try to insult me? I still don't be offended by you, buddy. I told you he's mentally unstable. Hello everyone guys, and welcome again to my favorite game. I'm pretty tired of this game. Wait, what are we doing now? It's like Poison Ivy. Yes! It looks like this is him! Wait, did Poison Ivy call us? I thought this girl called us and asked for help. Do you even understand that we are now helping Poison Ivy to dig into this girl's body? Um, she seems to like it. Okay, okay, we helped her. Let's move on to the next task. It looks like this cow didn't really like the hay she just ate. Okay, let's help her get him back. I think her digestive system is positioned rather strangely, or is it just that she sat in this position? Okay. Be that as it may, we still need to get this hay out of her stomach. Great! We almost got it! Cool, we did it! Looks like the cow was very happy. I hope now she will give great milk. But what do we need to do here? Take it away? But what do we need to remove? Wait, don't tell me that- Oh no, just not this. It even looks dangerous. Oh no, God! They tore the hangnail right down to my hand! For what? Why did she have to do this? What's going on in this game? Nothing surprising. 
This is just Pomni's favorite game in Bubble Look. She's going to poop right in the pool. Oh my god, are we really going to help her do this? I feel sorry for the guy who sits next to her in this pool. This turd looks so cute. It seems that she cannot even cause any discomfort. But either way, it's poop and it's going to stink. So I wouldn't want anyone to poop in the pool with me. Great! We did it! Sorry, pool guy. We didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. I think he's very happy about what happened. Okay, let's move on to the next task. This guy's feet stink. Buddy, you need to wash your feet every day. Oh my god. He has worms between his toes. God, where did you have to go for this to happen? I don't even want to know what needs to be done to make this happen to your legs. Okay, let's just help this guy and move on to the next task. I hope it's less disgusting. The last worm and... Yes! We did it! Just look at this guy! He is very happy. But why is he pointing his finger at us? He's probably pointing to those who helped him. Cool. Let's see what awaits us next. Now we need to get all the garbage out of her ear. Wait, how did the cockroach get there? Oh, just look, she's got germs in there. The same ones that were in the nose of the guy whose snot we sucked out. Yes. It looks like this girl has absolutely no ear hygiene, and because of this, she has bugs in her ear. Well, the main thing is that we were able to help her, and it seems to me that she is now very happy. I hope in the next task, we will also do something useful. Look, a mosquito landed on this guy's hand. Do we need to kill him? Um, no, wait. What's happening? Do we need to suck the blood out of the mosquito? This is already beyond adequate. I can't understand what's going on in this game. Why do we have to suck the blood out of the mosquito? He may have unhealthy infected blood. This is absolutely abnormal. This shouldn't happen. It really looks very strange. It seems to me that the creator of this game has big problems in his head. He definitely needs to go get checked by a psychologist. How could anyone even think of it to such a level? I'm very interested in what will happen when we pump all the blood from the mosquito into this guy's body. How will this help him? Why is he even doing this and for what purpose? Okay, no matter how illogical it may seem, you still need to help this guy. We have already completed more than half of the necessary actions. Now the main thing is just to help him finish it to the end and finally move on to the next task. Maybe there is some kind of superpower in the blood of this mosquito that will help this guy become much stronger than he was before. That's the only logical reason he do this. It seems to me that this is the most idiotic excuse for his actions of all. There is nothing logical about drinking blood from a mosquito. I totally agree with Jax. It seems to me that the only stupid thing about this task was where we had to get the chicken out of the chicken in parts. Wait, was she right? This guy really has superpowers. Oh my god, how stupid everything is in this game. I think the only way to get super strength is to eat healthy. But judging by what this guy eats, he is either very poor or very stupid. Who eats fish scraps anyway? Just look at this carrot. She's absolutely dirty. How can you even eat this? This is disgusting. This carrot is covered in sand. This sand will remain in his stomach. Doesn't it bother you that he eats the food whole? This carrot is not cut, just like an apple. By the way, there is a worm in this apple. Why didn't he cut the broccoli? Guys, you continue to do what you shouldn't do. Namely, look for logic in this game. There is absolutely no logic in this game. So just play and enjoy the process, because this game is very interesting. Interesting? Did you really mean to use that word here? This game is disgusting. There is nothing interesting in it. We are level level. We just help people poop, squeeze out pimples, and do other disgusting things. Guys, don't be such sissies. This game allows you to do something that you will definitely never do in real life. How do you imagine the moment when you help a guy swallow a fish fly whole? In real life? I would never want to do something like that. I think the game should help you do what you want, but can't in real life. Okay, let's just finish this level and move on to the next one. I hope it will be more interesting. Is this guy really happy after what he ate? I think he will realize the consequences of this food a little later. Well, in this level, we need to help this cow. Wait, a cow again? I don't even want to find out how it got inside her udder. What is this anyway? Germs again? Why are they so gigantic? But this situation seems familiar to everyone. Please like, if you have ever stepped on Lego scattered on the floor, this is very painful. No more painful, of course, than tearing off a hangnail. But nevertheless, it's just a terrible feeling. They are so hard to get out of your feet. Everything is just like in real life. 
finally at least one believable level of life in this game. I thought that the creators of this game were not capable of something like this. Wow! I think these Lego pieces were so huge. Now let's move on to the next level and help... Um... What's even going on here? Need to help this dragonfly get into this guy's belly button? But why? Did he swim faster because of this? He... Um... Wait. I don't even understand what happened just now. Okay, I'm back to working on more logic in this game. Let's just take it to the next level. Okay, now we need to help clean this guy's eyes. Why do we need- Oh my god, is he really going to eat this? Wait, why is that right inside his eye socket? Where is his eye? What is going on? It's pretty funny! This has never happened before in this game. Yes, it's really a little strange that he eats these things, but he seems to like it. Well, let's just help him finally clear his eye. If you continue to enjoy this game, one day I will come to your room at night and quietly cut your internet cable so that you will never have access to the internet again. It seems to me that only mentally ill people and a bubble can enjoy this game. Although I think it's the same thing. See Pink Turd! It's so funny! They worked really hard to make it pink and shiny. We need to throw it in the toilet. Wait, Kingler, did you just try to insult me? Okay, even if you tried to do it, I still don't be offended by you, buddy. I told you he's mentally unstable. Okay, the main thing is that we completed this task and now we need to, um, squeeze the pimples again? Oh my God, she has so many of them. Why does she do this with some strange stick? It's definitely not meant for that. Oh my God, this is so disgusting. I'm about to throw up. Why is Green Pus coming out of her pimples? Wait, did you see this? She has a pimple and a cockroach ran out. There's definitely something wrong with her health, and she also has yellow broken teeth. This girl needs to get checked out by a doctor ASAP. I think she has a serious problem. Okay, now we will do what we do every time after this game. Namely, vomit! This guy's vomit is so viscous. Did he eat gelatin before? We did it, and now this guy is very happy. Just look at his face. Relieved, buddy. Um, picking this guy's nose? This is very, very strange. I don't understand why this gives me pleasure. Don't you think it's strange that there are too many foreign objects in his nose? What's even weirder is that this cotton swab only has cotton on one of its ends. Who makes such weird cotton buds anyway? No, guys. The weirdest thing is that we have to put all these objects in his mouth. Ugh, this guy is very nasty. <laughs> okay, we kind of helped this guy. What awaits us now? Um, the cat who ate the mouse? And what should we do with it? Ofri the mouse? No, the logic of this game will not allow her to get out just like that. He'll probably puke on her. Oh, okay, no. I was right. Did this idiot drop his phone in the toilet with poop? How can you be so inattentive? The situations in this game are always kind of fantastic. Ugh, he also touched his own poop with his hand. I don't think this phone was worth it. Would you seriously be willing to drown your phone if you just dropped it in the toilet? What if it was an iPhone 15 Pro Max? Would you say, okay, Mr. Toilet, take my phone, I don't need it anymore? No, I wouldn't just drop my phone in the toilet. I'm not as hands-on as he is. As a last resort, I would get him with my tongue, hee hee hee. Ew, Bubble, you're even more disgusting than this game, I'm sure. Damn, I just realized I haven't seen any more disgusting games than this one. No, buddy. <sighs> the most disgusting game I ever played is Scorn. Scorn is a game set in a dark, twisted, and truly disgusting world. The game features a unique aesthetic and atmosphere, with eerie and grotesque imagery depicting a bleak and apocalyptic future. You crazy? I'm 32 years old. What children's games? Maybe I should actually go to the sandbox and stack cubes with pyramids there? I'll play anything, at least in Postal 2. Posted 2? This is the first time I've heard about this game. What should you do with it? And why did the bubble focus on her? Is it more disgusting than all the other games? Playing Postal 2 is definitely an experience. This game has no filter and is as twisted as it gets. The game is filled with dark, violent, and obscene humor. You play as a deranged dude who goes around killing people and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. It's like a simulation of madness and a virtual playground for your darkest urges. If you want to play as a mentally ill murderer and just blow off steam and do crazy things, this is the game for you. One time when I was playing Postal 2, I just finished beating up the local police chief and was making my escape when I realized I needed to take a piss from all the energy drinks I drank. So I went to a public bathroom in the middle of the square, pulled my pants down and started pissing. 
But as I'm finishing up, a guy walking by outside looks in through the window and makes a disgusted face. I started cracking up and couldn't help the piss shooting out of me as it was too funny. Damn, that's hella funny, haha. Huh? But yeah, that's definitely the kind of absurd and crazy stuff you can experience in Postal 2. It can be downright disgusting and twisted, but at the same time, it's also so utterly ridiculous and hilarious. It's a game that really pushes the boundaries of what is acceptable and conventional, and it certainly doesn't hold back when it comes to shocking and offensive behavior. Yeah, that's true. It pushes the limits and doesn't hold back when it comes to all kinds of offensive and unacceptable behavior. That's why it's such a great game to play if you want to just let loose and do whatever you want without really caring about the consequences. It's a perfect game for people who want to be as crazy and outrageous as they can be without having to worry about any taboos or restrictions.